Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. So it's time for this month's monthly makeup kit video. This is where we sit and we just kind of go through all the makeup, sometimes skincare products, sometimes body products, but the majority of this is makeup, the makeup products that I've been using for the entire month. So this will be for the month of July. And I just kind of give you my updated thoughts on things that maybe I've tried and I said, you know, I'll let you know what I think or just products I've been testing in my own personal time and um, I have some thoughts on those products as well. And then also this is a combination of products that I've just been using on a regular basis. They may not be new, but they're just products that I've been using pretty consistently over the month of July. So this is not a favorites video or anything. I'm just gonna be giving you little uh, bits of my opinions on just some new products and it's just a way for me to Make sure that I'm actively testing products and then also giving you feedback. So uh, if you have the time, you can pull out some of your makeup and do your makeup with me. I am going to be applying the majority of the stuff to my face today. And um, so if you want to do your makeup with me, you can. If not, just sit back, relax, put your feet up. And then as always, make sure you guys have some, something to drink or a snack, something to enjoy while you're watching this video. I've got some iced coffee and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so as you can see behind me, whew, this is my makeup kit. I will try my best to link it below. I always try and link it. It's usually sold out. Um, I've been getting actually quite a few messages from you saying that they restocked it or you were, you were able to find it. So if I can, I will link it below. Um, but this is my makeup kit. This is where I keep just like my daily little makeup bits. Um, and I love it. It's so lovely. So Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the products. So I actually have uh, two new sunscreens. Well, one of them's new, one of them's just kind of like a rediscovery. Um, as you know, or maybe you don't know, I've been using Purito sunscreens. They were amazing. Uh, they're two physical sunscreens. However, they have been discontinued. I've had to kind of discover some new sunscreens because I loved those. Nothing performed like those and my skin is so sensitive and I just have a really hard time with sunscreens. So I've been testing out this Dermalogica Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30. Uh, they did send this to me to try, and while I like this, it's it's very, very, feels very oily on the skin, and I just feel like right now, because it is so hot, it just slips and slides around all of my face. There's nothing really wrong with it, it's just it's a little oily for me right now. I probably like this when it starts to get a little bit cooler. Um, and I have about normal to dry skin and I still find that this is just a little too oily for me, especially with the amount that you need to use to properly cover your face. It's just a little on the oily side. I have rediscovered my Elta MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum SPF 44. I actually really enjoy Elta MD sunscreens. Their UV Clear used to be my holy grail. Um, that's a really great one, especially if you have acne prone skin or just really sensitive skin, that's a great one. Um, but I've had this in my collection for a little bit and I, I think I just stopped using it because it was tinted and when I'm wearing sunscreen on days when, when I don't wear makeup, I don't like wearing tinted SPF because my clothes you know, can rub my face, my kids rub on my face, their clothes rub on my face, and I don't like having to worry about getting my clothes dirty or getting my kids' clothes dirty. I don't know. Do y'all feel that way? They have a very strong metallic smell. Um, it. It, I, I'm assuming it's the minerals, the minerals in this uh, SPF. It just smells extremely metal-like, if uh, if that makes sense. So that's that's really the only issue. It's just I'm not a fan of the tint. I'm not a fan of the smell. No fragrance or anything. It's just those minerals in here that give it that really metallic smell. Um, but other than that, this is a beautiful sunscreen. L to MD, again, they just make wonderful, wonderful sunscreens for sensitive skin. So I've just been using this one and I've really been enjoying it. So I'm going to go and apply it. Um, I love the applicator as well. It's this nice little pump applicator, so it's just really easy to control. I actually already applied this today, so I'm just doing a second layer um, just to show you kind of how it blends in on the skin. But yeah, the tint is very, very, very sheer. The tint is actually too light for me, and I don't find that it makes me look ashy or chalky or anything like that, so I'm assuming this would work for a, a wide range of skin tones. Um, just because it does not show up on my skin. 
this is what the sunscreen looks like so yeah really really nice I've really been enjoying this, this has just been my daily go-to sunscreen so for foundation um, I have basically just been using this every single day um, it's just nice because my body is quite tan my face is not so I love using this to balance the two and also this is really the only coverage I need from day to day however I have been mixing in the Alme Smart Shade Skin Tone Matching Makeup. I've been mixing that in with my Vita Librata on days when I want more coverage. Now, I know Alme is not cruelty-free. Um, I mean, I don't think they are. Their website says they're cruelty-free, but according to a bunch of other sites like Cruelty Free Kitty, Ethical Elephant, uh, Ethical Pixie, I think is what it's called, um, they're not cruelty free so um, but I did want to mention this is what I've been using there are a lot of brands that are kind of in that gray area so I'm sorry if I misinformed you in my drugstore video but I am gonna mix this in with my Vita Librata because this is what I've been wearing from day to day and I actually love love this product it's so so good um, so I do a pump of Vita Librata and then I do about an equal amount of the Alme so that's what that little combination looks like. The All May is white, but then when you mix it together, the little pigments burst and it reveals the color. But yeah, this has just been my go-to everyday base. It's nice because it's a little bit more of a matte base, which has been holding up a lot better in the hot weather. If you don't choose to use All May, that's totally fine. This is just what I've been using. Um, it's just a personal decision. And I've really been enjoying this, um, this little combo. It's just a nice everyday base. And just like a quick side note, when it comes to clean, beauty, cruelty-free, like I don't want y'all to come to my channel thinking that I am the like guru when it comes to these things. I'm very conscious about the ingredients that I use in my products, but that's just based on my own personal preference on what I am okay using. Your your personal preference on what you're okay with using is going to be completely different than mine. Always make sure to look at the ingredients yourself and just kind of make that own decision for yourself. And when it comes to cruelty-free, I'm not a cruelty-free channel. Um, if you are looking for that, I can definitely link some channels down below that I think they do a lot more research in that area. They're a lot more versed in that area. Sometimes you may not want to use what I use and that's totally fine. That is, that is your decision. And um, the great thing is we can all kind of choose what makeup we want, makeup and skincare we want to apply to our face. So um, just take everything I say with a grain of salt, just like with any, any other YouTuber. And, um, you know, we may not always use the same products, but that's fine. My, my goal here is just to inspire you and to just want you to play with makeup, regardless of what products you're using. I just want you to have fun with makeup. So you don't have to necessarily use the products that I'm using. Use whatever you are most comfortable with. So for concealer, I actually have three concealers. Um, the first is this Chantikai Le Camouflage Stylo Anti-Fatigue Corrector Pen. Um, this is really, really great if you don't need a lot of coverage and it just has this beautiful like very skin like natural finish it's a very pricey concealer i don't necessarily think it's worth the price i think there are other concealers on the market like my air Perez, elf makes an amazing concealer so i don't think you necessarily need this concealer but this is one that i purchased myself because i wanted to try it out uh, ingrid nelson talks about this and um, it is a lovely concealer it does not have a lot of coverage so if you're needing to cover a lot of things i don't think this is the greatest um, but it makes for a really nice under eye concealer because of the finish of it and the dewiness of it it just kind of lifts the under eye area so i've really been enjoying this for the under eye area uh, a couple others i've actually been using this nude sticks nude fix cream concealer um, this is really really nice it's a little bit more of a matte concealer it's got pretty good coverage and I've really been enjoying this however I think if you're not wanting to spend the money on the nude sticks one the flower beauty light illusion concealer is so incredibly similar to the nude sticks one I've actually been using these quite a bit and I cannot tell the difference when I when I use them so both of these are very very similar I really really love the nude sticks one but I think if you're wanting a good alternative from the drugstore this flower beauty one is so good so I am gonna go and use the nude sticks one today just because I haven't used that on my I haven't used it on my channel at all I've just been using it in my own personal time 
and I'm taking this in the shade 4.5. I go between 4.5 and 5, um, but today I'm going to use 4.5. And one thing I have found with this concealer is to get the most coverage out of it, if you're really needing a lot of coverage, let it sit on your skin for a little bit, you know, 30 seconds or so and uh, let it kind of dry down. And this goes across the board with a lot of different concealers. Um, but if you let it sit, kind of dry down a little bit, you get a lot more coverage than if you were to just go in and blend it out immediately. All right, and then some tools that I've actually been using for, uh, or using this past month are, is BK Beauty. Um, I've never tried the brand. I've always heard really great things about it. So I've been using their sponge and I've also been using a lot of their brushes. So that's what I'm gonna use today for my makeup. But this sponge is so, so nice. Um, it's really soft. It doesn't soak up too much product. And I like the shape of it as well. So if you are wanting to try some new brushes and tools, um, this is a really lovely brand. I don't think they're too, too expensive. They're not like drugstore prices, I don't believe. Um, but yeah, these are really, really nice. And I've really been enjoying the sponge. All right, so uh, some kind of cream liquid complexion products I've been using this month. First and foremost, I've got to say, this Kai Parami contour palette has been amazing. So I featured this in my drugstore video. Um, if you haven't seen that, I will link it up above and I'll also link it down below. But this contour palette has been amazing. So this is their darkest version. They do have a lighter version. Um, but I have been loving this. This is so nice and it's very, very long wearing, which has been great. So I'm going to go and apply a little bit of this today. I've also been using the Chantecaille Radiance Gel Bronzer. This I've been mixing in with my foundations to deepen them up. I've also been using it as liquid bronzer. Um, this one is a little bit more on the natural side, whereas this is very, very pigmented and it's a little bit more punchy. So um, just depending on the day, I kind of go between these two. But if you're looking for a really great drugstore, store cream contour cream bronzer you have to check out this brand it's such a lovely lovely product all right so i'm going to use the bk beauty 106 brush i'm going to dip into this shade right here and just kind of bronze up the skin this is a little bit more of a warmer shade so it's more of like a, a bronzer shade on me but i love having the palette because then you can mix shades together if you need a deeper shade one day or a lighter shade the next day there's a lot of room to play and kind of create your own custom shade but these apply so beautifully it's more of a matte finish which I like in the summertime I feel like it just wears better lasts a lot longer and yeah I've been loving this all right so I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of my Chantecaille liquid Lumiere anti-aging face illuminator in brilliance I'm just going to apply this to the back of my hand and then I'm actually going to take my sponge, my BK Beauty sponge, just kind of prime the sponge really, really well, really work it in there, and then apply that to the tops of my cheeks. Um, but this illuminator is really nice as well to mix in with products. So if you just want to add some glow to your foundation or moisturizer or SPF, you can mix it in. All right, so let's do a little powder. Um, I feel like I need to set my face down. I've got a lot of creams on. The powder I've been using exclusively for the month of July has been the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil Pressed Setting Powder. This is their newest powder. This is so good. It has, it has not let me down in this hot, hot heat. So this is the powder that I've just been using because I know it works. I know it's going to set my makeup down and not move. And it's just been incredible. And actually, I've been using the little puff that comes with it to um, touch up throughout the day or if I just want a really quick like application I've just been using this and this is actually really nice um, but I use the shade sheer light these powders are very very sheer um, I have a couple different shades and honestly they all work for me because there's really no pigment and I'm actually going to use the little sponge for my under eye All right, so for the rest of my complexion, um, I tried out two palettes from Sigma this month. Um, I will link the videos that I that I use these palettes in. I haven't been using them every day or consistently, I guess, through July, but um, I've really been enjoying these, especially this blush palette. 
it's just a really beautiful array of matte and shimmer blushes so um, I had never tried Sigma before so these were my first kind of this is my first introduction um, the glow kiss palette is a little bit more intense a little bit more metallic for my taste I much prefer something a little bit more on the natural side so this wasn't really my favorite it's a little bit too too metallic, too chunky for my liking, but if you like a super intense highlighter, I think you would really enjoy this. And um, yeah, these blushes have been really nice as well. I actually much prefer the blush palette over the highlighter palette. Um, and then I've also been loving the Aume Healthy Hue blushes. This shade, uh, Nearly Nude, I think is the shade name. Um, has just been like my go-to blush this month. So that's what I'm gonna apply right now. Use it on a BK Beauty 107 brush. I'm just gonna pick it up. And this is just a great, where's my mirror? Great just kind of everyday throw on the cheeks blush. It goes with everything. And on my skin tone, it's just that nice kind of warm peachy nude blush shade that you can really just wear every day. All right, so for the eyes, I uh, actually tried out quite a few eyeshadow palettes this month. I did try out two new eyeshadow palettes from Sigma, their Core De Rosa palette. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette, and I've also been trying out their uh, Ambiance palette, and she looks like this. So yeah, these are incredible. I had never tried Sigma eyeshadows before, and these are so good. And it's not even just the formula. I love the color story. I feel like they did such a great job with putting the different shades in here that really complement each other. So putting these purpley shades with some of these more warm orangey peachy shades. It's just, they did such a good job. It's like they really understand color theory and they really put some uh, nice, very complimentary shades in here. So yeah, really, really enjoyed this. This palette, I mean, it's like every neutral you will ever need. I also love that uh, some of their like metallic shades are this gorgeous, creamy, duochrome type of situation. They're just so beautiful. Um, so if you've tried to Sigma eyeshadows, let me know what you think down below. Also, let me know what your favorite Sigma eyeshadow palette is because this makes me want to go try more of their eyeshadows. Um, I also did a video on this already, so I'm not going to harp on this too long, but Hourglass launched their Curator uh, eyeshadow palette that I've already done a video on this. I already gave you my opinions on this. Um, but yeah, so I did want to mention that I used this this month and then also the Kai Potami eyeshadow palette that I mentioned in my drugstore video. Um, I played around with that for a little bit, but um, again, I just don't wear eyeshadows consistently, so really the only time I'm testing out and trying out eyeshadows is on camera. Um, Alright, so I am going to just use a little bit of, I think I'll do the ambiance palette because I want to do something a little bit more natural today. Um, this is what it looks like in case you missed that video, but I mean gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shades. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of Daylily, this one right here, and then I'm going to take the shade Marigold, which is right here with my finger, and I'm just going to pop a little bit of that all over my lid. Alright, so for mascara, from day to day, I've been using my Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I've just been kind of reacquainting myself with this one. So, so nice. Um, and then for like full drama makeup days, I've been using the Lawless One and Done. But this has just been my everyday mascara. Um, I've also been using a few other mascaras that have not launched yet. So hopefully I will, I should be able to talk about all of them in next month's monthly makeup kit. Um, but for now... Ilya Limitless Lash. And then I'm also really going to focus this month on trying drugstore mascaras. So I've already picked up one from CoverGirl. I have not tried it yet. Um, but there's a few others that I want to try. So hopefully next month's monthly makeup kit video will be filled with lots of drugstore mascaras and hopefully just drugstore makeup in general because that's really my focus right now. Just finding some more affordable options for some of my high-end kind of luxury favorites. And the great thing about having this higher-end makeup is now I can go to the drugstore and really compare 
and see how um, and, and find hopefully some dupes at the drugstore. Um, so this month that is going to be my focus, really testing out some drugstore makeup. I actually just purchased this uh, Pixie Beauty Balm. It's their high coverage foundation, and uh, I'm gonna do a wear test on this hopefully this week. Um, so this should be coming very very soon. But yeah, I'm just really trying to focus more on drugstore makeup this month and uh, get some more drugstore options for y'all. So it's not always just high-end, expensive makeup. So if y'all have any drugstore recommendations or requests, things you would like me to try at the drugstore, definitely leave them in the comments below. And I will try and test some of those out for you. So for the lips, I really haven't been trying too many new things. Um, I did pick up some of these LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liners. So I'm going to use the shade Sugar and Spice. I did show this in my drugstore video. Um, but yeah, these are great. They remind me a lot of the MAC lip pencils. And I'm still trying to get my hands on the shade Cafe. Every time I go to the store, and different stores, it is always sold out. So there, everyone's on to it, I guess. Um, but I need to get my hands on it. I think I might just have to order it. And then I've actually been trying out a new little tinted lip balm. Um, these are the MD Solar Sciences Hydrating Sheer Lip Balm SPF 30, which is amazing. And I've actually been trying to find really good lip balms with SPF because I go on morning walks and I've been outside a lot and I tend to neglect my lips. So I was really excited when they sent these to me. Um, so I have the shade Shimmer, which is like a really light pink. Looks like that. Very, very, very like a sheer, sheer pink, I would describe it. And then this shade, which I'm actually going to use today, is the shade Spice. These are very sheer, so it looks very dark in the bullet, but it's very, very sheer. Now, if you notice, you can see this one, it's kind of broken in half. Well, both of them just broke in half. Um, it's really weird. Like when I twisted it up, only half of it came up and then the other half stayed down. So I don't know if they're all like that or what happened with mine, but both of them um, are broken in half. You can see this one. Yeah, very strange. Yeah, these are really nice and actually very moisturizing on the lips. So you can just kind of throw it on like a lip balm or you can pair it with a lip liner and uh, make it a little bit more of like an actual lip stick or lip product. But yeah, that's just been kind of like my everyday lip. It's nice because I got that SPF protection, got a little bit of color, very moisturizing, and it's easy to reapply. All right, guys, so that completes this month's monthly makeup kit. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I love doing this video, and it's just a nice way for me to kind of touch base with y'all on some new products that I'm trying out. So next month, hopefully, I'll have more drugstore makeup products. Just, again, leave me recommendations or requests down below. I will definitely try those out. Um, but, yeah, there were a lot of really great products I discovered this past month, and I'm, I've been very uh very pleasantly surprised so thank you so much for hanging out with me today remember i love you god loves you and i'll see y'all in my next video bye guys you are